In 1914, World War I started, and with the army being very small, they desperately needed men to join up and fight. Most people did not own radios, and TVs had not yet been invented. The easiest way for the government to communicate with the people was through posters stuck up on the walls in all of the towns and cities. These posters became the weapon on the wall. Propaganda is information that is spread for promoting a cause or belief. Propaganda posters during the war were used to recruit men to join the army, recruit women to work in the factories and in the women's land army, encourage people to save food and not waste it, and encourage people to buy government bonds. Wake up, America. This poster is a woman dressed in stars and stripes. It symbolizes America is asleep. The United States entered the war on April the 6th, 1917. On April 19th, James Montgomery Flagg's poster was featured in Wake Up America Day in New York City. Actress Mary Arthur was Flagg's model for Columbia, who is a personification of America and liberty. In the poster, she is shown asleep wearing patriotic stars and stripes. She is also wearing a Phrygian cap, which is a symbol of freedom since Roman times. She is sleeping against a flute to column, which is another visual reference to Western classical ant antiquity and civilization. You can also notice in the poster that the sinister storm clouds gather in the background. The purpose of this propaganda poster was per to persuade the Americans into becoming interested in the war and fight for their country. It is attempting to persuade Americans through the American flag design. Destroy this mad brute. This poster is made by Harry Ryle Hopps. England and France were depicted as civilization, and Germany was shown as a mad brute. The gorilla in this poster is representing General Ludendorff, who was one of the leaders during World War I. The purpose is to make Germany look like a bad gorilla, encouraging you to destroy them. The gorilla is also holding a club which has culture on it, which means culture in German. The club had blood on the top part, symbolizing that it was a weapon. He is carrying it to, to destroy cultures. The gorilla is also holding a half-naked lady, which is a representation of the Statue of Liberty. The gorilla holding her represents that the gorilla, the enemy, is taking away their freedom and liberty. The purpose of this propaganda poster is to scare people from the brutal image of the gorilla and the meaning behind it and to get men to enlist into the army. It is aiming to awaken a patriotic feeling in the viewer and hopes more men will enlist. Uncle Sam. The first portrayal of Uncle Sam first appeared during World War I. It was made by James Montgomery Flagg. Uncle Sam, pointing out at the poster, grabs viewers' attention. It also puts a face to the country. The text, I want you, for U.S. Army, makes the viewer feel like Uncle Sam is speaking directly to them. It shows a sense of patriotism with the patriotic hat and overall color scheme. It also evokes a sense of guilt. The purpose of this propaganda poster is to make the viewer feel like the country is depending on him or her, therefore they should sign up. A wonderful opportunity for you. This poster was created by Charles E. Rootman. The poster is trying to make the American Navy program more appealing than it really is. The man is wearing new uniform and smiling. It appears that he is walking fast and very eager to get somewhere. The military service offered young men the chance to travel the world and see places they could never otherwise have visited. The purpose of this propaganda poster is to make young men eager to go out and travel the world while they have the chance to. Our Greatest Mother, Join Young men were not only their targets for propaganda posters. This poster was created by Cornelius Hicks. In the poster, a nurse is pictured holding a child of toddler age. In the background, you can see image of war. The picture bears a resemblance to a traditional painting of the Virgin Mary holding her son Jesus Christ. The name of this poster also implies that the American nurse can be placed on the same level, spiritual or otherwise, as the mother of Christ. The purpose of this propaganda poster is to encourage ladies to serve as nurses. Must children die and mothers plead in vain? The poster was created by Walter H. Everett. The image shows a mother clutching children as she reaches out for help. To finance the war, the United States government borrowed money from the Americans by selling liberty bonds that would be paid back with interest. The government began an aggressive campaign to convince Americans to subscribe. 
They are trying to convince America by making them feel guilty as if they weren't to pay for liberty bonds and they would cause this type of scenario. The purpose of this propaganda poster was to remind people of the suffering of European children. This image utilizes a wrong sense of empathy to drive viewers to buy bonds.